Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Austin or Luna. And sorry about not posting a video yesterday. I just got caught up with, uh, you know, some stupid unimportant bullshit. So I do want to apologize. But I'm back today with a normal video. And not so normal video actually now that I think about this. Because it's kind of funny. Definitely one of the more weirder things. I hope you guys enjoy this little story though. Leave a like if you do. And here it is. So all through my life, I really love going to concerts and, you know, music shows and any show, really. I've talked about it in other videos, of course. Um, but there was one outdoor show that I went to a couple years back that uh, some shit went down at, and I thought it was kind of funny. Almost could have went really bad. I don't really know what would have happened, but my only guess is that it wouldn't have ended well. But it all started as a normal day. Me and my friends had planned to go to this show for a long time. We actually, like, you know, prepared for this. And the day finally came for it, right? And we went there, and we were kind of excited because we were able to go backstage because my brother was working the event. And it was an outdoor event, so backstage kind of just meant like behind the fucking stage on a gravel road, just sitting there by the tour buses, and pretty much just doing literally nothing, just sitting in a group talking and listening to the music. But that's pretty much what we did. We showed up, went there, sat in the crowd for a little bit and listened to some music, but got kind of tired of being cramped up, and we just decided to go back to the backstage area. And we were talking there, literally just sitting by the tour buses, talking to some of the bands, talking to my brother, and we talked for a good like 45 minutes, and this was like a pretty secluded area, like they had gates, they had security, like no one could go back there unless you had a pass, or you were like with the bands or something, and that's what we were, we were just sitting there with my brother, because he's staff, and like I said, pretty secluded area, you really couldn't just run back there. Well, you could, but you would just get in big trouble and it'd be kind of annoying. And I want to clarify, when I say gates, I don't mean like fucking gates that you need like a code to unlock. I'm talking about these little fucking things. They're pretty pointless, actually. They just kind of tell people they're not supposed to go back there. They really don't hold anyone back. But I want to say like another hour goes by and we're listening to one of the main bands play. Like I said, just talking as usual. And some fucking guy jumped the gate into the backstage area. Now, I don't know what his intentions were. Usually people would like jump the gate or go through to meet someone or to talk to someone because they have their passes. But this guy didn't have a fucking pass. He jumped over it and he was in his fucking underwear. And I have no clue what this guy's intentions were, but he jumped this fucking gate. Looked like he ate a pound of molly and just fucked a pumpkin. And he was just running through. And, you know, we were fairly far from the gate. We were kind of in the middle of everything, but he was running towards us, and we just figured, okay, he's going to run by, just simply run past us or something. He probably got dared to do this, or it's some prank that he's trying to pull on one of the bands or something to look cool. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think anyone would do this to look cool. They would probably just do it because they lost a bet or that they just felt like embarrassing themselves or something. But as this guy ran closer and closer to us, we realized that he wasn't turning. He was literally heading straight on towards us. Like, he was not turning. And it was a very, like, wide space. Like, you could go any direction. But he was going right to the middle, just right towards us. And thank fuck, this guy started getting pretty close. But a security guard that was by one of the buses noticed him running towards us. And he just dipped. This security guard ran towards him and took this motherfucker down. I have no fucking clue why the guy wasn't at the gate like he usually was. He must have just been doing something with someone else at the time. And that's when this guy saw the golden opportunity to sneak in. But anyway, the security guard tackled this random half-naked guy. Like, just straight dove tackled this guy and took him to the ground. He put him in these handcuffs and then just basically walked him out back to, you know, the area where he should have been the whole time. And I don't think he got arrested or anything, but this guy was literally trying to fucking come at us. To this fucking day, I have no idea why. Like I said, probably on some shit. I don't know. But he was literally running at us, like about to tackle us, and we have no idea why. But with how fast he was going and how close he got to us, he wasn't fucking slowing down. He was ready to just dive at us. But sadly for him, his plan completely backfired, and he ended up getting tackled and not doing the tackling to us. I don't know, dude. It still fucking blows my mind. I don't know what this dude was doing. Still won't ever know. But the fact that a half-naked, drugged-up guy jumped a gate into the backstage area and tried to literally tackle a group of fucking kids just blows my mind, dude. It really does. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video slash story. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video today. And yeah, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.